Also in New Orleans for an exclusive interview is BP's chief operating officer, Doug Suttles. Mr. Suttles, good morning. Uh, good morning, Harry. The cap seems to be holding. It's almost two weeks now, so we have not seen any significant amount of oil uh, rise to the surface. Can you tell us about progress for the relief well and what kind of timetable you're talking about, about once and for all getting this oil, oil gusher that has uh, despoiled the Gulf dead once and for all? Yeah, Harry, I mean, it, it, as you mentioned earlier, it's, it's encouraging. It's been 13 days since we've had any new oil flow into the Gulf of Mexico. And of course, we're 100 days into this, this horrible event. Uh, but ultimately, we've got to make sure this well can never flow again. And the first step along that path is actually this static kill, which we hope to actually uh, pump at the beginning of next week. We're making good progress. Of course, the tropical storm Bonnie set us back a bit, mm -hmm. but we're back on location and working. And then ultimately, we will need to complete the relief well, which is still on target uh, to be done before the middle of August. So, so we're still making good progress. All right. So you will then, in fact, try the static kill with the cap uh, mechanism that's in place now? You know, Harry, that's the plan. Uh, ultimately, we've got to get that approved by, uh, by Admiral Allen, but he's given us the go ahead to do all the planning, and we're working that quite closely with the government scientists. And we do hope we, uh, uh, we actually get to the point that everyone agrees it's the right thing to do mm -hmm. uh, to pump that job. And the timeline would look like the beginning of next week. All right. Untold millions of gallons of oil spilled into the Gulf, tens of thousands of lives affected, to say nothing of the environmental damage that has happened to the Gulf of Mexico. At day 100, yeah. as you and your coworkers at BP reflect on this for a moment, what is the most important lesson you all have learned? Well, Harry, there's a lot of thoughts that go through your head on uh, on day 100. You know, it's a milestone none of us wanted to ever, ever see. But, you know, the first thing I think about is those 11 people who lost their lives on the 20th of April. Um, we've got uh, so many things to learn from this accident, and, and actually many, many things will change. What I, what I do know is a few things, uh, Harry. Our ability, the industry's ability to fight a big spill and, and a well control, a blowout on the bottom of the seabed in the deep water is significantly different today than it was on the 20th of April. Uh, we've invented things, we've created things, we've, we've invented new techniques to skim, we've applied techniques that have never been done before, we've mounted the largest response the world's ever seen. Uh, and those lessons will be available to the, to the industry, to the entire world um, to, to help if this ever were to happen again, and hopefully mm. it never will. But if it did, that knowledge will be out there for everyone to use. But what about the, the responsibility you and other people in the oil business and oil exploration have, not just to, say, the people in the Gulf, but any place that you're exploring for oil? Well, you know, Harry, one of the things that's probably had a huge impact on me personally is I've, uh, I've been across the Gulf Coast for the last 100 days. I've met lots of people, fishermen, people that own restaurants, uh, community leaders, mayors, governors. Um, th this has been extraordinarily painful, and there's, there's so many uh, uh, things we have to do to make this thing right. And when you feel and touch that, it has a huge impact on you. And we've got to make sure the chances of this happening are extraordinarily remote. Um, but I would also tell you, if, you, if you're in this region, um, oil and gas activity in the Gulf of Mexico is hugely important to the people here. It supports a lot of the economy and the jobs, and we have to find a way to do both. We have to find a way to do it safely, but the jobs and getting that oil and gas in the United States are also important. Doug Suttles, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you.